packed in here like sardines, so we had to tie off to the neighbor's boat. Getting ready to get on out of here. Bye! Do you have a message? I'm gonna start turning. Woo! Today we are sailing from Maui over to the big island and I'm a little bit nervous because the channel between the two is notoriously rough as guts. Is the main sheet east? It's east. Just turn the engine off. We're moving at a real nice pace. We got calm waters, like low teens, wind speed, and uh, right off our beam, we're going about four and a half. I hope the channel is this mellow. You scared of the channel? Terribly. Really? Yeah. Are you really? Scared to death. We're getting closer and closer to this channel, y'all. Uh oh, we dying down to nothing. Hold up. Oh, okay. We see Molokini in the distance, and I just looked at Salva and I said, hey, you want to anchor there and maybe do some diving? And he was like, hell yeah, I could do that. So here we go. We're going to drop anchor. We're not going to cross just yet. We might be here a couple hours. If it's really pretty, we might stay the night. What's up? Are you stoked for Molokini? Very happy. What is Molokini? It's a crater. Fishes, reef. Do you see any turtles? Not yet. Those well, are my will. those are my best friends. Hey. Was it hard to find them? We just picked up a mooring off of Molokini. It's so beautiful. There's only one other boat here. Um, Saba is a dive instructor and he is about to show me how to get my new mask all ready for the water okay um so we're going to burn a mask um you want to make sure that it's like a tempered glass mask as opposed to plastic lens because if it's plastic you'll just melt it right down um and once you burn the mask it'll keep it from fogging up uh the reason why you want to burn this mask is because when they make it in the factory they leave a film on the inside of the mask and that is what fogs up. So by taking a lighter to this mask, to the inside of the mask, you're burning off that film. Oh, I can see you reflected in it. <gasps> Sick. I see it. Some of it is starting to come off. Usually there's a lot more. Now, is there, are there any other steps, Saba? 
Uh, you can put some toothpaste on it or you can put like baby shampoo mixed with water or you can even spit in it and rub it around. I think I'm gonna spit in it. Ready for action. I can see very clearly through this thing. So many fish down there. Watching Sava underwater, I mean, he can dive like, I think close to 200 feet free dive. It's like watching someone descend into outer space. It's kind of mind blowing. Meanwhile, I just kind of kick it near the surface. Uh, I saw a bunch of fish. I know, what kind of fish were those? Uh, the black ones that came up to you are the, it's the Hawaiian state fish. The Hawaiian name is Humu Humu Nuku Nuku Apua'a. It's a black trigger fish. So, which one of them bit my finger? Okay, so we stopped here for just like an hour or two and the wind has really picked up. There are white caps everywhere. Um, yeah, so I'm getting all bundled up, preparing myself mentally for this channel. Notoriously a nasty channel to cross. Dude, this channel's about to be rough. He ain't scared. to keep this a secret but Josh flew back to Oahu to surprise his girlfriend but um, he's been breaking bacon bread this whole way and I just found some in the oven we really miss Josh and we wish he was here um, but we're really excited to share this last piece of Josh on the boat how good is Josh's bread Sava Josh this is some damn good bread my man thank you we miss you buddy uh, Typical Hawaii, we are motoring again because the wind went from the rodeo to a ballet in nothing flat. Swimming. <laughs> I'm drenched. 
as usual. We've been seeing about, well, I'm getting between seven and eight knots. We're on a beam reach. A lot of spray's been coming over the, uh, but we're all drenched now. We're about, I want to say 46 nautical miles from our destination. The sun is still shining. Life is good. Sava, what's your favorite thing to do? Ever? Yeah. I don't know if I can publicly discuss that. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> One that you can discuss. One that I can discuss. I do, I do enjoy me some free diving. I gotta tell you. And sailing's up there too, if you can't tell. And how deep can you free dive? Uh, my best is 181 feet. And how long can you stay under? Uh, like, if I'm constantly moving, my best has been two and a half minutes, maybe a little over. Olivia, what was it like sailing over from California to Hawaii? Sailing from California to Hawaii, single-handed, was pretty dreamy. But it was everything, you know? It was like being on the craziest drug I've ever taken. I hallucinated. There were highs, there were lows. Um, I danced, I cried. I regretted my decision. Then I embraced it. I think it changed me forever. I wouldn't take it back. Olivia, what is your highest high in that trip and your lowest low of that trip? My highest high was when I got like a, escorted by spinner dolphins. And at first I thought it was like some psychedelic song because I could hear him before I saw him. And then I, then I leaned down, I thought my emergency radio had turned on. I, le I bit my ear down and then out of the corner of my eye, I saw them pirouetting out of the water. And they were as far as I could see. And then um, lowest low was probably like my last day. No, my next to last day at sea, it was just squall after squall after squall. Uh, really, really big waves. Um, I was exhausted. I was getting hit with everything. Uh, getting drenched every time I went to the cockpit. Ruby wasn't holding course that day very well. Um, yeah, it was pretty gnarly. Did you have, um, like, deeper into the trip, did you have any cravings for anything, like some wild weird cravings for like, like curry or like some random Yeah, food. I I really craved bibimbap. I just wanted bibimbap. That's a Korean dish and I love it in the hot stone bowl. So that's what I was craving a lot out there. And then uh, I was able to get it right when I got to Hawaii. Um, and then also like I was craving human voices and I was hearing voices a lot. Like one time I went up into the V-Birth and I heard what sounded like a funk singer going, clap your hands, hell yeah. And then I heard a thousand hands start clapping and I started clapping too. And then another time I heard what I thought was a beautiful merman saying, would you like me to help you? And I shouted back, yes, and nothing happened. So, yeah. pendulum I've named her Petunia Petunia show me yes Petunia show me no Petunia should I furl in the jib any no. no no it says no thank you Petunia Making some food, pretty hard to uh, brace myself in here. See how much the stove is moving on its gimbal. We healing over pretty good. Woo! Um, I'm gonna make something simple. Saba wants miso soup, I want this little pad thai dish. 
you know, kind of just add hot water stuff. See, just add water. Ooh, that looks good. How many rogue waves have hit you? like Poseidon at the helm, taking waves like a man to the face. Okay, so the water just boiled a minute ago. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. I served Saba first. Oh man, there's water leaking all in here. Don't know where it's coming from. I have to deal with that tomorrow. Oh, she's about ready. Okay. Remove the lid and fail to this line. I don't know where I'm going to put it once I put it in there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm just dancing around this wild cabin with some boiling water in my hands. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Sometimes I wish I had 10 hands on a boat. Oh! This is the slowest we've gone all day. Look at that speed! Whee! It's like the red light special over here. Shh! Stop us sleeping! I was gonna get a video of you sleeping. But I'm not asleep. Dang! So, I thought I had resolved this leak coming in and I haven't. I've gone through over 
30 towels trying to sop up the water. Um, when it first started, it was only doing it like on upwind runs, but I'm on a beam reach right now and it's still leaking. These are all the dirty rags. Don't know if you can see them. If anybody has any idea what it, where it could be coming from, please let me know. I thought it was the packing gland on the rudder post, but that has been changed and it is no longer dripping, so I have no idea what it is. It's 3 a.m. I'm so tired. I just keep setting an alarm every 20 minutes to go and check what's happening. Uh-oh, it looks like we ripped the Genoa overnight. Good morning! These are all the towels that I used for the leak. Hanging them all up. Gonna need to wash them. God, I have a lot of clothespins. Uh, hot coffee just spilled everywhere. We hit a little bump and whoop. It's been a wet morning. I'll deal with that coffee spill later. Mari just calls me on the phone saying, I think I see your boat and there's pilot whales between your boat and our boat. How would you describe sailing with me? Up and down. It, is it too crazy of a ride? No, it's good. It's good because like I'm kind of like here, and you're like here, so it's more exciting. Sometimes you get caught in the like in the in the in the epicenter in the reptile the riptide of it, and at that point you gotta like you gotta sometimes you gotta slow the view down a little bit. You just gotta be like, girl, breathe. It was a long night, tired. I looked at him, I said, how do you feel about a massage? And he goes, yeah, and maybe a manicure <laughs> too. <laughs> so, Let's do it. There's only one thing you can do when you're really tired and it's get a massage. Sava, what are you doing? You're washing teeth. Why? She's a dirty girl. Got a lot of sand on her. Personally, I didn't think Daisy was that dirty, but I'll let dirty. Salva do whatever he's doing.
Olivia, the water under your feet is changing color. I love rainbows. It's my kind of water. I know you've probably been waiting your whole life for a woman to tell you this, but I'm about to show you my bilge. Oh, she's pretty full. Pretty full. Also, check out that cute little caterpillar I made. That metal bracket, because it goes down so deep, I just unscrew that metal bracket and it allows me to change the bilge pump if needed. Don't tell anybody I showed you that. I'm taking this real slow. This is pretty cool, how it's cut through. Coming into the harbor at Kona. I'm glad you're leaving. Hey. Sava, are you gonna miss Juniper? June, June, yeah, I'll miss her. So we'll see you in a couple of days. A couple of days. What was your best? On a magic. What was your best memory of this trip? I enjoyed crossing the channel with you. That one was probably my highlight. Cool. Big Island Channel. That was good. Cool. Action, some sailing action there. Oh, man. Here we are. Bye. Have a good. You wanna feel? Yes. Have a good journey. It's a long one. You'll probably be there in 20 minutes or something. Back to Oahu. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. I just wanted to give a huge shout out to all my Patreons who make these videos possible. And to let you know that if you feel like becoming a Patreon yourself, there is a link below in my description. And I hope you have a beautiful day.